All right. Go, yeah. <laughs> go for it. If you watched the episode where we tested all of our wiring in the car, there was one thing we didn't show, and that is the wiring of the horn. Now, all of the wiring worked great, but we had a slight problem. Did you count down? Three. Oh my gosh, I'm so, I'm so, two, one. <laughs> test it and see if all of a sudden our thing's gone bad. And if it's not going, then we just don't have a good ground. Be, okay. Just hold it just like that. So ground. It's dead. No. The horn's dead. This is the original. Aw, Carl's original horn. We had already replaced Carl's other horn, so this was his last original horn, which was kind of sad to say goodbye to. But we went on Facebook to find another horn that was for sale. And then one of our Facebook followers named Mike Heyer sent us his low horn for free. So we got it media blasted, painted, and ready to go back in the car. Okay, so we are having a few problems when it comes to the steering column assembly stuff. One, the horn is not working. Secondly, the turn signal, it's really, really hard to turn. Especially left. Yes, yeah, especially left. It like clicks weird. It really which, bumps, yeah. And thirdly, when we turn, when we use a turn signal and turn the wheel, when we turn it back, it is supposed to release, but we are having to do it by hand, which is not helpful when you're trying to learn how to drive. <laughs> and we think all of these problems are being caused by the fact that there is a giant gap right here. So we are going to see if we can try and fix all of those problems. Okay, so this is the ground and these are the contacts. Normally what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to clip this here and touch it to one of the contacts and we're supposed to hear the horn. But it's not happening. Fake. That's good. So oh, perfect. Right? Nice. Yeah. Okay, right, so here are the horn contacts, and they ride on these two little rings right here. Now, um, they are working, because if I do this right, they should. Yeah, so they are working horns. That's not the problem. But, um, because, as you can tell, there's gook on here and gook all in the steering wheel. That could be one of the problems, but we think the main problem is that this is just way too far down. So, we have a working horn, but we're going to transition over to um, this, and we're going to see if we can make it any easier to rotate. But first, to be safe, we're going to disconnect the battery. Yeah, this is good. This will be fine. Okay, that's good, that's good. Okay, there. Here's the thing, like, it snaps into these. Do you see it has, like, little grooves on the side that it snaps into? Show me. Do you see? Like... Are those guys? Yeah. And make it go the other way? Oh, so it snaps into those. Mm-hmm. So maybe we could open those up, shave them down a little. So I'm just gonna try to shave off little bits of this because we think this is the problem. Um, so we're just gonna try and take off as little as possible and see if it helps. Yeah. Any different at all? I think it already helped a little bit, but I think it needs more. Okay. Give it a try. It seems like they're similar. Like it seems like the same. That's good, because it definitely wasn't the other way. Yeah. Show me the action. So that's right, that's left. I'm gonna straighten this out just a little bit.
I'm not trying to cut any more off. You're doing great. And I might be ruining this, but... Well, that's good. I like what you're doing. Okay. I think this should help. Those are a lot easier. Good. Okay, so next we note that the column is not making good contact with the steering wheel, which is why many of these problems could be happening. So we are going to scoot up the column um, an inch to a half inch, right? No, a quarter or inch a to quarter a half inch. quarter inch to half inch. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's huge. I can't, I can't do this today. So go ahead and slide it up. Okay, so come back down. I think right about here. And is the thread poking up enough to get a yeah? You can get something the bolt on, on there. Uh -huh. So you can see that there's a lot of grossness on this thing. Um, it's like thick, especially in that inner ring. Yeah, it's bad. So this could have been one of the problems, but I think if we do this, we'll be good. What do you think? I think it's taking it off. Oh, look how gross. Looks like earwax. Oh, you're like cleaning out Carl's ears. Don't say that. Okay, so now that we have all the contacts cleaned up, we are going to do a test really quickly to see if, um, you know, we fixed the problem and the, the horn will honk. We only have one of our two horns honk, er, <laughs> horns honked up. We only have one of our two horns hooked up, mainly because we have never, one, we've never been able to press the horn on Carl and to actually work. Uh -huh. And we've never heard both of them together. So we're just saving that for the big moment when we push the horn. Cool. So yeah, see if it makes contact. <laughs> How about the other one? All right. So that was our problem. That was the problem. Just wasn't close enough. We really haven't turned it at all, so we should be good right there. Yep. Let's see. Hang on, we're getting some binding here. Why? It's it's touching, like it's it's kind of rubbing on the back here. Huh. Maybe we're a little too close. Maybe just enough to make it loose, yeah. Well, you know those bolts. We're pushing the column back. So let's, so look, there's that. Mm -hmm. Spinning freely. Mm -hmm. Do the test again. So we've still got good contact. Mm -hmm. Actually, you might, here, can you tighten it anymore? Yeah. Now that's at the bottom. Uh, we're rubbing just a little bit more. Back it off together again. There it is. That it's feels, minuscule. That looks good. It's just tiny. Amount. And test it again. Sweet. From both sides, I test. There we go. There. All right. Let's go. Let's see if this is the first time. Are Hang ready? on one sec. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. Go for it. Okay, well, here. Look, here's the thing, let me try Take that off, quick. yeah, so try, let's see. So this might be the first time hearing them. That sounds so good. Okay, so what's wrong with... Our neighbors are gonna hate us. I love that so much. Okay, so obviously that didn't work. Well, it um, kind of did. It kind of did. So we have definitely fixed the problem of the column, but now what we think we have a problem with is the actual, like, contacts. We call that the button? I don't know. Contacts. I'm calling them contacts. I like it. Because um, it is supposed to touch here, here, and here. Now, we can't adjust the ones that are touching here, so they have to work. And everything looks clean. And it all looks really, really clean. We've made sure everything was nice, good metal. 
The only thing that I can think of that could be wrong is we could have pushed this down further. Yeah, maybe they, So yeah. we are going to try to bend it back just a little bit and see if that helps. And if it doesn't, we'll, just we'll figure something else out. <laughs> yeah, give it a shot. Nice and easy. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so now that the horn works, we're going to go see if our turn signal finesse works and if it'll turn off when we turn. And what better way of doing that than taking a drive? I'm ready. Um, so we had definitely fixed our original problem. We just also created another problem, that being the car wouldn't start. Thankfully, we knew all the power was good in the car, so that definitely wasn't the problem, and we had a pretty good idea of where we were going wrong. So, we created a bit of a problem, being that we can't start the car. <laughs> um, so, we are, um, we're in park right now, and yeah, I can move the car. So, apparently we messed up the shifter linkage, um, so we are going to adjust that so that when we are in park, we're actually in park, and the neutral safety switch will let us start the car. Let's do it. <laughs> there, just went. Yes. There we go. There we go, now it's sliding free. Okay, so you're all the way up in park? Yep. Okay, that's all the way up in park now. Okay, down into reverse. Feels good. Uh -huh. And down to neutral. Cool, back up into park. Okay, so we got the shifter shifted around. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so let's let's hope we did this. Fingers crossed. Okay. Okay, ready? Yeah, go for it. That was me not pumping it. Go ahead. get that worked out but we're running yeah we still need to get the car replaced and replace those belts but the horn works so all that was left was the test drive worked on these horns much earlier in the year. So coming back to them not being done was a little frustrating. So what I'm taking out the garage this week is that sometimes you think you're done with something until you're not. Let's hope this is us being done with Carl's horns. Thank you so much to Mike Heyer for sending us the horn that we needed. I really appreciate it. As always, thank you to my executive producer, Drew Carter. I'm just going to remind you, I'm a 15 year old and I don't have a job, and I am completely paying for this car redo. So if you would like to support me, go to my Patreon page at patreon.com slash Ellie's Garage. And also, I have merch! I have this shirt that says Ellie and Carl and Dad and Teddy, and I also have this shirt that says I'll see you next time in the garage. So if you need Ellie's Garage merch for people on your Christmas list, go to my website at elliesgarage.com and click on store. Thank you so much to all of you for your support, and I'll see you next time in the garage. Do you need help holding? <laughs> I can hold it. No! <laughs> can I hold it for no. you? No! <laughs> Accept some help, woman! Put this on you. Oh. I did it all by myself. We have no proof! <laughs>